Taurians and thanks for calling to find out what's happening in your neck of the cosmic woods this week. Well, you should be happy to hear and you will be happy to hear that Mercury and Venus, the two personal planets of the zodiac, the planets responsible for day-to-day -day planning and day-to-day communication and socializing have both moved into your sign and remain there for this week. Alongside a new moon in Libra, which is transiting your sixth house of hard work, service to others and dedication to others, this is the perfect time for you to get out there, socialize, motivate. If you're a stay-at-home bull, someone who likes to stay at home, watch TV, cook, this is a week when you're going to have a week away from the kitchen and be in somebody else's kitchen. That's the best way to meet somebody, especially for those of you who are single and looking for love. Scorpios are a great match for you, by the way, and a great match for you because they're a water sign, you're an earth sign. Together, earth and, uh, earth and water makes mud and mud sticks together. So that's always a nice thing, that you can have a muddy relationship. It sounds good. So there's some really good things happening for you, Taurus. And just know that next month, during the new moon next month, it's going to be the halfway mark of your cosmic solar year. Where do you stand right now? How are you feeling about what's going on in your life? Do you feel you're getting the maximum potential out of yourself or that you've got more to give? Stop holding back. Now's not the time to hold back. This is a very important time for bonuses, promotions, raises, getting a new job. The economy is picking up and you, you want to be the first bull in line to pick up on all of that good stuff. Thanks for calling, Taurians. I hope you enjoy what I wrote for you this week and this month. And I'll speak to you again next week.